What's up, my fellow developers? Welcome back to another video. So, as you guys know, O3DE is in a developer preview. So there are a lot of systems that either may change, that are not implemented, that are working, but they're gonna be changed over time. And this is something that I hope you guys understand. Um, they're going to push this idea on the forums, when you're talking to other developers. They want you to understand that we are still working through bug fixes, new features, things of that nature. Now the engine itself has a core set of systems that will allow you to prototype unless you get something going. They want to stress that it is a developer preview because there are going to be things that might cause bugs, that are bugs that are already present. Like I mentioned before, missing features and missing systems. So this video, we're going to talk about what the engine already offers and then other avenues you can take uh, to supplement what's missing until we get those native systems in the engine. So let's start naming things that the engine can already do. If you're not too familiar with the engine or if you're coming from Lumberyard to see what's different, what's the same, this is kind of a good breakdown for you. So first and foremost, we have the Atom Renderer. That's brand spanking new. That's going to give us most of our rendering features. So things like decals, our material editor, our global illumination, our lighting, our image-based lighting, sky boxes, sky highlights, post-processing and all the systems that come along with that. It's a very cool rendering suite and so far I have enjoyed playing with it. So definitely that is a staple I'm glad that we have. Of course we have NVIDIA PhysX for all of your physics needs. On the topic of NVIDIA we also have NV Cloth for cloth simulations as well as NVIDIA Blast for destruction simulation. We also have some awesome returning systems such as the motion effects in the actor system for your animation character animation needs not only do you have access to c but you have access to scripting languages such as lua and a virtual scripting language such as script canvas and a lot more that are providing a base for you to prototype or even get something going in the meantime while we're waiting for more native systems to kind of give us the more complete engine and then on the other side we have other systems that we don't have access to right now and those are things like particle systems a terrain editor just to name a few this is kind of the beauty of the engine now being open source because now we have you know 20 plus companies and growing who are participating in making the engine better as an example for ai now you do still have access to the event-based ai system that is in the engine but even if we don't, we now have a partner in Kathera AI where that we can now use their gem for our AI purposes. And since Kathera AI is a complete AI solution, you definitely want to give them a look. And like I said, they're one of the founding partners of O3DE. So you're going to find them in the Discord. You can, they have their own forums if you want to reach out to them. Uh, they're also very helpful. So with Kathera AI, you have things like dynamic nav mesh support. Behavior system and state machines offer things like auto cover, auto navigation, it's multiplayer ready. It supports large worlds. So it's a complete solution uh, for AI that I think is worth looking into for sure. For visual effects, we have popcorn effects, who is also embedded in the industry, been around for a while, and they have a proven software that is now integrated with the engine. I'll be posting links down below for downloads for all these guys that I'm mentioning, but we're definitely gonna do videos on them for setup and how to get started and things like that. But I've been waiting to get involved with popcorn effects for years. So I'm so excited that they are a partner for the engine and that we can actually use that uh, as of today with O3D. Now for things like audio, we still have Wise um, from Audio Kinetic and they're actually a partner as well. And I think it's a very good software. It's actually an excellent software. Uh, there are some who might feel like a native solution like you would have in unity on real is more preferable but there's nothing wrong with using wise in my experience it's pretty excellent you can do a lot with it and it talks to the engine very nicely in my experience and lastly is something like building out your world or your terrain like i mentioned before there's nothing like that in the engine so you have to go using things like blender you know, Maya, Moto, Max, these things that will create that for you and then transfer it over to the, and that's pretty standard anyway. Of course, you know, more modern engines have a built-in terrain system 
for you, but a lot of times you'll often find developers using third party software and you're importing that, whether it be the FBX or the height map to go along with the built in terrain system. So it's nothing new and it's nothing that will that should hamper you but just keep in mind that that is kind of the workflow as of now so i hope that was a good breakdown for you guys for those of you who are using the engine and kind of want to have every avenue covered even though officially things are still being worked on and probably the greatest thing about the engine is the fact that it's open source so you yourself have the ability to even create your own implementation of these systems and that you can share with the community and then we just have more than one way to do things so like for audio if you had the will to do so and the skill set to do so you can imp implement your own audio system whether it be built from scratch or you want to implement something like fmod since the audio engine is basically an abstraction layer it can accept different implementation plugins on top of it so right now wise being one of those plugins so there's nothing keeping you anyone from creating another plugin for a different type of audio system and that same thing goes for pretty much any system that you can think of so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video i'm going to be breaking out more system based videos talking about components and then hopefully talking about some gameplay systems that we can create from scratch i'm going to take my existing ai tutorials and convert it over to their ai and then put that on the channel as well so a lot of videos coming i'm excited but yeah other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And until next time, always remember to keep developing.